My friend, how are you doing today? Yeah, hi Ryan. Good, good. It's so different from our Barcelona World Race times. Uh, at least they are maybe too long ago that I don't remember the tough moments anymore. But uh, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit uh, an uncomfortable week, uh, more than you than I expected. But for, but I won't I won't complain. Well, that's good. I think that uh, it, it's very interesting all this conversation about the Algulas current because um, we didn't really. Uh, notice very much of anything in that area when we sailed through there before. Um, it seems a bit like the Gulf Stream off the coast of the United States with eddies and, and um, bringing debris down there and, and everything else. It seems as though people are, uh, you know, everyone that's, uh, all the skippers that have run into something have done so in a very specific area. and. Uh, and so perhaps it's the current that's brought it all down there along with the, with the waves being bad because of the two different water temperatures. Um, have you actually seen anything with the Oscar as you've, uh, as you've sailed along through the area or not? No, I haven't. Uh, Oscar hasn't detected anything in this uh, area. I had only one detection so far on the entire trip, which was a fender in the first or uh, second week. I had a like one meter diameter fender that it detected quite nicely. But uh, yeah, it would be really interesting to know from the scientists if these currents here are actually normal like this, because uh, as you say, I can't remember uh, on any of my other trips here that uh, we had um, so much issue. And 19 degree water temperature, it really sounds crazy. Also this morning I was looking at my chart and the the delta between the course of ground and the course uh, heading course was uh, massive, was like 20 degrees difference, and uh, so it calculates um, that I have a, that I observe a current of five knots, and I was very close to send a message to my electronic provider Jeff Cuisin saying, "Oh, I have a problem. I don't uh, read the magnetic variation correctly," and I was going through my my data here and just seeing that with touching these eddies, then the current uh, occurred and, and stopped again, and uh, now it's fine, but uh, it's, it's really like violent currents out here, and um, I was not aware that, it, that they can be so strong. They're also much stronger than on the models. Well, that goes right back to uh, one of the uh, axes of, uh, of your project to, uh, to figure out about these things with the scientists, after all. So that's uh, it's good you're down there uh, experiencing it firsthand and gathering data for these people. Yeah. It's going to help for sure. It would be interesting to dig a bit more into it. Like I remember after our trip, uh, the Barcelona World Race, there were discussions about um, influence of climate change on the ice barrier because we took 10 days longer than expected, uh, than anyone expected at the time, uh, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, it's always interesting to see these... Uh, the, the, the opinions from the scientists on these matters. And can, can we look ahead real quick and, and discuss just a little bit about uh, what you think the next uh, three or four days will bring in terms of weather between, uh, between yourself and uh, the boats just behind you and perhaps a little bit of what you think Charlie Dallin might face uh, as this uh, large depression uh, forms sort of behind him with a big front attached to it. I didn't look at the competitors so much, to be honest. Um, I think um, uh, Yannick gained quite a few miles over me since we had the rescue operation together. <coughs> and uh, and since then, uh, he, he managed to, to sail a bit of a hotter angle, um, a bit faster as well. So being further south brings him also um, further along on the track. Um, and they, I think we will stay in the same phase, get, catching the next low, kind of starting today, and then uh, gradually building with the VMG uh, situation. And um, round about where the uh, ice zone uh, comes north the most, in that, in that area I will drive, like something like 52 east or 50 east, and um, quite close to the ice gate. And then I have a long port um, northeastwards, uh, riding this low pressure uh, in the same phase, like I think Yannick and uh, and who else? Uh, Jean Le Cam, maybe. 
and uh, I was worried a bit, little bit dragging behind here and falling out of the rhythm of this uh, of the uh, of the of the low pressure and um, being stuck in the high that's behind us. Uh, but um, I think I will be fine and uh, going along with an increasing breeze over the day today. Well, at least that's what I see here. We we had pretty active um, uh, ciel de train yesterday, like this this uh, active clouds and um, really strong gust that made it made it a difficult day yesterday again, and um, it's a bit a bit better actually today. That sounds good. Uh, hopefully, the uh, as the breeze uh, goes aft a little bit, you're able to uh, to get going downwind a bit more with the waves and uh, and have a bit less of the uh, of the pepper shaker effect. Do you uh, do you mind uh, showing us uh, outside the back of the boat one more time and yeah. uh, just let us see uh, what's going on with the uh, with the sun and the clouds? Yeah, I can go outside even. I'm not fully outside, maybe. But <laughs> Here's a little view. An albatross behind us here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Excellent. Yeah, that's... Yeah, uh, pretty big sea state still. Like, uh, the, the swell is maybe... The swell is maybe uh, four meters. And confused really confused. It's rare. I've never seen so confused sea over so many days. I uh, I fixed my pilot to stay on an, on a speed target and uh, in order to be able to do this with these waves we're doing like amazing S curves. I don't know if you can see that in the video but we're going curving pretty much up and down on these steep, uh, steep short waves. Like being on the mogul's run, huh? Slaloming between bumps. Yeah. Yeah. And you see my broken antenna mast here uh, in the back? I just uh, taped it onto the rail. Um, that got victim of the hydro generator that, uh, when the boat was starting to surf too quick, on um, 28 knots, then it ripped off and uh, caught caught on this antenna mast and luckily got tangled straight away into the uh, into the stanchion so it didn't damage itself more or the boat but I have to rebuild uh, the fixation a little bit and uh, during the day right now the solar is strong enough to keep me going and uh, when I have a bit quieter conditions I will fix my two hydros that both ripped off unfortunately. Sounds good.